Hey there, I'm Kat. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're opening up a try treats. All right, if you're new to my channel, make sure you take a moment, like, subscribe, comment, do all that good YouTube -y stuff. Don't forget to turn on the all notification bell so you get notified of all my awesome videos. There are a lot of good ones this month, but today we're checking out this try treat. All right, if you're not familiar with this box, um, it's $13 a month. They do now have a larger box, so I might upgrade for next month and check out the larger box. Um, but $13 a month, it's cute. It's very similar to Universal Yums, um, but cheaper. So hey, why not, right? <laughs> I've been really impressed with this in the past, but then we hit a couple of months mid-summer um, where it was weird boxes that was like 12 kinds of cracker. Um, so I didn't get it for a couple of months and then I started getting it again in the fall and it was all chocolate and I was very excited. Um, so the last couple of boxes have been great again. I am excited to see what's in this one. So this box, like I said, it's kind of similar to Universal Yums. It's going to be themed to one country each month. Um, it's just a little cheaper. It's only 13, maybe $14 a month. It's pretty cheap. I know they did just edge up a little bit um, in their price, but it's still cheaper than Universal, y Universal Yums. That is another one you can check out if you're interested. I have reviewed that one before as well. Um, shall we check this one out and see what's in here? I will have all the links below. I think there's a referral code that gets you like $5 off your first box. Ooh, is that Italy? Ooh, Italy has good chocolates. Let's see. All right, so very similar again to Universal Yums. We have our little card, the Cliffs of Mohair. Oh, Ireland. Oh, okay. So there's usually a picture of somewhere famous in the country you're going to along with a little blurb about the country. We get a little info sheet and some fun little info, um, a, a recipe from something, a traditional dish in that country. It looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've only got six snacks, but this box is not skimping. So it's pretty good size snacks this month. Last month we had a country where all the snacks were small, but there were like 18 snacks in here. They made up for it. They fill the box, whether it's with six snacks or three times that. So check out first impressions and let's see what we've got. Potato poofs. Is that what all of the cheesy poofs are made of is potato? This one is cheese and onion flavored. Um, so you're familiar with cheesy poofs. I just recently discovered through these snack boxes that there's actually a ton of flavors of poofs. Um, I don't know if they're all potato or not. I actually don't think I've ever paid any attention to that. I assumed they were some sort of flour, but maybe they're potato. Anyway, now I'm gonna have to look. Uh, so this is the Tonto brand, cheese and onion flavored. Okay, I'll try them, they sound good. And we've got also from that same company, the Tato um, Chip Sticks, salt and vinegar flavored. Ooh, my husband will like these. They're like the little um, potato sticks that we have in the US. And our other four pieces are all candy. <laughs> we've got seriously strong peppermint. I find it strange the way they separated pepper and mint. But then down here it just says regular peppermint. So I don't know if this is peppermint or peppered and mint. I don't know. I'll let you know in a minute. We have a Cadbury. Cadbury is an iron. Now I gotta look. Let me see our cheat sheet. Is Cadbury an Irish company? I don't know. But that's what we have in our box. I have to Google that now. Cadbury sandwich snack, milk chocolate biscuits. Okay. We've got fun, another roll of candy. The fruit pastels. Oh, now vegan friendly. So it probably had some sort of um, like gelatin in it before. From Round Trees. Okay. Um, I'm guessing these are just like little chews. And then we have, also from Cadbury, Curly Whirlies. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start with the Curly Whirlies, I think. 
Um, oh, it's chocolate. Yay. Let's see what we've got here. Interesting. It's like lattice work, hence the curly whirlies, I guess. Okay, I was not expecting that. I, based on the shape, I took a bite thinking it was going to be um, like a pretzel or some sort of cookie. Nope, it's caramel. Um, it's really chewy caramel like a sugar daddy in the US. So now that I got all that out of my teeth, I will finish the rest of it later. It's really delicious, um, but it's very chewy. <laughs> All right, should we try the other Cadbury snack? This is the chocolate biscuit. Okay, it says Cadbury on the front. I have high hopes for this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is delicious. Cadbury makes great chocolate. Mm. Okay, that is really good. I will finish it off camera, but it is delicious. Um, should we try the chewies or the potato snacks next? Maybe we'll go potato snacks. This one is the two brands of Tata or the two products from the Tato brand, which I'm guessing are going to be fairly similar. Let's see. These are the potato poofs. Oh, not what I was expecting. They're almost like a bugle or something. Okay. I thought they were going to be like a, like, cause when I called the puffs are the ones that are like the cheese puffs. They taste like a potato chip pretty much. Okay. Not bad. Nothing wrong with them, but they're a pretty standard snack. And then this one, as I suspected, is going to be like the little potato sticks. Mm. But there's salt and vinegar. I don't think I've ever had a salt and vinegar potato chip. All right. Correction, I have had plenty of salt and vinegar potato chips. My husband is actually a big fan. But I've never had the potato stick in any other flavor other than potato stick. Mm. All right. And then we have two candies. I think I'll do the fruit first and finish with some peppermint. Okay, these are not exactly what I expected. I'm a little nervous that all that powder is going to be super sour. What do you think? Right, here goes nothing. Oh, those are quite yummy. I can't place a U.S. company that has a similar snack or candy really um th like i said this is round trees w o or sorry r o w n round trees um it's kind of like i think sunkiss has those chewy those fruit chew things they're kind of like that they're very tasty oh goodness so you can see um but the sunkiss one come in like individual little plastic these are much more earth friendly just in the paper I guess you could also compare it to like a Lifesaver gummy. It has a similar flavor. Okay. And now for the Triple X Extra Strong Mints. What is the, oh, the Altoids are what I always buy that are the Curiously Strong Mints. Let's see if these go beyond Curiously Strong. They look kind of like a Nico wafer, a little thicker. All right, here goes nothing. All right, well, I have two comments. Uh, one, they taste pretty much like an Altoid. Two, I really wish I'd read the ingredients beforehand because apparently they're made with pork gelatin. Can't uneat it, so there's nothing I can do about that, but gross. Um, I'm gonna go back to my chocolate and pretend that didn't just happen. <laughs> I can say that is very unusual. I do not run into that problem. Like, I didn't even look because I do not run into that problem usually with really any of these international boxes. They are very careful 
Um, I think that meat products in our snacks is much more common in the U.S. I don't see a lot of that um, or additives that are bacon or pork fat or lard. I don't see a lot of that coming from other countries. Um, so I literally didn't even occur to me to check a pack of mints to see if there was pork gelatin in it. That is very gross. So... While I still highly recommend the Dry Treats box, I can very strongly say I do not recommend these mints. Other than that, again, another great box. I feel like this one, I liked the one that had smaller products but a whole bunch of them. That was really fun to open. Um, but I don't have any objection to this box. It was good. It had a couple of chocolates, a couple of candies, a couple of traditional snacks. Nothing to complain about. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with this box, even though they just fed me pork, which I'm not very happy about, but the rest of it, an okay box. Um, I'm going to go brush my teeth now, and I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye!